Hello, everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach a new R user how to download R. Uh, so if uh, you have to download R and the process seems a little bit too complicated, this video is for you. So uh, Rebecca, why don't you first open up the PDF that I sent you, which has the relevant links. So as you can see, uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, there are two different things that you have to download, R and then R Studio. So that first link that says cran.r.studio, yeah, why don't you, you can either click or you could just copy it and, and paste it. Um, yeah, so just to go to that link. So that link is gonna basically be how you download R itself. All right, so now again, when you go here, you're like freaking out, there's like a lot, right? So uh, first you gotta ask yourself, do you have a PC or uh, do you have a Mac? And so in Rebecca, in your case, you have a Mac. So if you look at those, those first three links right there, the, the second one, download R for Mac OS, that's the one you wanna click on because you have a Mac, right? So very good. So now, now you see this page, start freaking out again. Oh man, there's, there's too much, what do I do? Do I just give up, right? No. So, uh, so if you scroll up to the very top, yeah, okay. So now that you're here, so, all right, move your mouse a little bit lower. Yeah, they're, they're exactly there, right there. Yeah, so you see there, uh, R, so that, that's the latest release, right? So that's what you wanna click on. So click there. And what this is gonna do, yeah, so now click save and it's gonna start the download. Now this, this is not gonna download R itself. This is downloading a package that's gonna install R into your computer. So now if you can click on uh, yeah, so in your case, since you saved it to the desktop, it's it's right there in the desktop, but you can also click on it there. Yeah, either way. So if you click on it, that's going to open the program now. So this will download R for you. So you can just click, uh, click continue. Very good. And then continue again. Continue. Yeah, just keep clicking continue. Yep, I agree. Yeah, you're just going to agree your life away without reading the license. That's totally fine. Yeah, it might ask you to type your computer's password. And if so, you know, that's just uh, making sure that you're not a bot. But anyway, uh, this is a pretty quick process. So as you can see, uh, you downloaded it and it, it's really only just going to take a, a minute or two, you know. And essentially, uh, again, this is a program. It's currently um, it's installing R. And uh, yeah, let's see. Less than a minute left already. Boom, really quick, right? So now what this is gonna do, R is now already installed. Uh, so you can X out of this link if you'd like, or you know, you can keep it open, whatever is easier. Um, so, but then, uh, so well, let's not even worry about opening R. Let's now download R Studio, because that's really the one that we're gonna work with, but R Studio only works if R is downloaded. So step one done. Now. Uh, again, here, either if you have a Mac or a PC, depending on which one you have, you'd click on a different one. So here you could just, you know, you could click on that first link uh, if you want, uh, or, or yeah, or you could copy paste it if that's easier. Yep, cool. So again, because you have a Mac, that's the, the first link's the one you clicked on. So very good. So now uh, save. Very good. So again, what this is doing, this is also, again, it's downloading. Uh, so a program that's going to install our studio for you. Yep. So exactly right there. That's where you're going to click on. All right. Wow. So this, what this already did is this already downloaded it for this already installed it. So, so when this little window pops up, don't freak out. What this is saying is you see that R, that rounded R button? Yeah, there, that is R Studio. That's the thing that you're always gonna be clicking on, you know, whatever. But right now it's living on this external drive in the cloud. So what you wanna do is you wanna put it into your computer. So if you drag it over to applications, yeah, drag it over and put it in there. Yep, now let go. Very good, cool. So, so that, that's fine, you don't, you don't need to do it twice, yep. Totally fine. Just uh, you could X out of oh. one of them. <laughs> yep. Very good. Cool. So now what this has done is it's copied R, which it created in the, that drive over to your application. So now your computers through any finder window or something, click on applications. 
Yeah. So if you go to your finder, do you have a finder window open? I thought I did, but. Okay. Uh, well, you can always right click mm -hmm. uh, and do new finder window. Oh. Yeah, and if you go to applications on the left, very good. Um, so now, okay, if you, if you could uh, op make it a little bit bigger or zoom in. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, yeah, I, we can already see them. So you see R and then two underneath that you see R Studio, right? So there it is, they're both there. So again, unless you're somebody who, who's, who like doesn't need R Studio, you'd click there. But for the most part, most people in the world will click on R Studio in order to access the power of R. So click on our studio now. Yeah, as in double click, sorry. Yep, so it's gonna open the application now. And there you have it, you have our studio. And here, let's see, yeah, you, you wanna click open even though it's gonna try to make you uh, think that it didn't work, but this is just them trying to make sure that it's not some sort of virus, right? So you just confidently click open. All right, would you like to install the tools now? Um, you don't need to necessarily worry about it for now. You can click cancel for now as we're, um, and so there we have it. And this is R. And uh, in the next videos, uh, set of videos, we're gonna talk through all of these components and uh, we're totally gonna make sense of how to use R in the best way. Great, thanks Rohan. Thank you.